Number 53. Determine the number of atoms and the mass of zirconium, silicon, and oxygen found in 0.3384 moles of zircon, which is ZrSiO4, a semi-precious stone. Okay, so it looks like we have to do a lot here. (laughs) So they want us to find the number of atoms and moles in their respective atoms, right? Zirconium, silicon, and oxygen. So this is Zr, zirconium, silicon is Si, and O is oxygen, obviously. And I put the three um, boxes for the individual elements or atoms that are found on the periodic table. So we're going to use these boxes. I just didn't have enough room to put the whole periodic table, so this is fine. All right. So how are we going to do this problem? I don't know. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. So they gave us a 0.3384 mole of zirconium, right? right? Or zircon. And they want us to know the individual atoms. So first thing that we would have to do is we would have to take the 0.3384 moles of zircon, which is Z-R-S-I-O-4, and find out the individual moles of each atom. So there's three of them, right? There's moles of Z-R, there's moles of silicon, and then there's moles of oxygen. Now, we've done this type of problem, how to go from a compound to an individual atom, right? To individual elements that are inside of the compound. There's a quick and and easy method to do it here. You just have to look at how many you have. So if you wanted to find out for just zirconium, how many zirconium are in the actual compound? There's only one here, right? So this would be essentially, you just have to times by one. So it essentially would be the same number. So this would be 0.3384 moles of just zirconium. How many moles of silicon? Well, you look at the silicon. How many silicon are there? Oh, there's one. So this is roughly the same number, or this is exactly the same number, 0.3384 moles of silicon. And then for oxygen, there were four oxygen. So we would just have to times by four. And I'll put over here that this one you have to times by one. So in this case, we have to do the actual math, 0.3384 times four. And we have to keep it four sig figs, because that's what they gave you here. So 1.354. 1.354 moles of oxygen. Okay. So that part was like the hidden part that we had to do, because now we can go to atoms, and now we can go to mass. So first, let's... um, I guess, let's see, how am I going to arrange this? I guess we'll do the atoms first. So essentially, we're going from moles of something now to atoms of something. Can we do this in one shot? Can we go from moles to atoms in one shot? The answer is yes, we can. So this would be a one-step problem because we know that one mole of anything equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of anything. Now, when you're saying the word atom, they just are super specific. If you're saying the word atom, the X's have to be an individual element. So that's why it's just Z, R, S, I, and O. But if you replace this word, atoms, with molecule, then it would be a compound. But that's just being super, super specific. So for each one of these, we have to take the moles and just convert to atoms. So let's get down to it. 0.3384 moles of ZR. We don't want moles of ZR anymore, so that goes on the bottom. And we want atoms of ZR. So what numbers go here and what numbers go here? Oh, well, we know from the conversion factor that one mole of anything, so the one has to go with the word mole, is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. The word mole of zirconium cancels out, and you're left with the atoms of zirconium. So 0.3384 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. You need four sig figs, because remember, this whole thing is four sig figs. If you guys aren't 
comfortable with sig figs, go back to chapter one. There's tons of problems there. So this would be 2.038. Um, 2.038, yep, times 10 to the 23rd atoms of ZR. So there's your first answer for atoms of ZR. There's going to be six answers here because we got to get all the atoms and all the masses. So if I can, I'm just going to split this up just so that we have room for atoms and room for mass. Okay, so now we're going to do the second one. 0 0.3384 molecules of SI. Well, you guys can kind of see that this is going to be the same answer, right? Because moles of SI on the bottom, atoms of SI up top, what are the numbers that go between moles and atoms? Well, we know that one mole is just Avogadro's number in atoms, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So moles of SI will cancel out. And if you do the math, you get the same number as above. So 2.038 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of SI. Box that answer off. That's the answer for atoms of silicon. And now we just got to do the same thing for the last one, oxygen, 1.354, actually 1.3, yeah, 1.354 moles of oxygen. Moles of oxygen goes on the bottom, atoms of oxygen goes up on top, I'll put atoms of oxygen, one mole of oxygen equals Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, cancel out the word mole of oxygen, and now you just do the math, 1.354 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. I still need four sig figs, so 8.54, 8 8.154 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen. And those are your three answers for your individual atoms. So this part is checked off. Now we gotta go to the mass. So what's the information between going from moles of something to a mass of something which is in grams? So you're going from basically moles to grams of that same thing. Can we do this in one step? Yes, we can. So one single step, because what do we know? We know that one mole of anything equals the molar mass, which is in grams per mole, of that same compound or element. But keep in mind here, if you see similarities, it's always going to be one mole. So one mole for this conversion and one mole for this conversion. So whether you're going from atoms or, to, or grams, you'll always put the one next to the word mole. So let's try it out. For the first one, we had 0 0.3384 moles of zirconium times by the ratio, you don't want, ooh, you don't want moles of zirconium anymore, so that goes on the bottom, but now we want grams, we want the mass. So what numbers go here, and what numbers go here? Oh, well, according to the information that we know, one mole of zirconium, the one will always go next to the word mole, equals the molar mass, which can be found on the periodic table. So that's when you're using these boxes. So if you're looking at zirconium, the mass number is the higher number out of the two. So just know that. You won't take the 40, you'll take the 91.22. So this would be 91.22. Cancel off the moles and you get your first answer. 0.3384 times 91.22. Four sig figs, so 30.8. 87 grams of zirconium. Box that answer off. That's the first mass answer. Now we just got to do it for the other two. So 0 0.3384 moles of silicon. Moles of silicon go on the bottom. Grams of silicon goes up on top. What are the numbers that go here and what are the numbers that go here? Oh, well, one mole of anything equals the molar mass which is found on the periodic table. So silicon, like I put here, we're looking here now, it will always be the larger number. So this would be 28.09.
cancel out the word mole of silicon, 0 0.3384 times 28.09, four sig figs we still need, so 9.506 grams of silicon. Box that answer off, that's the second answer. And then we just gotta do it one more time for oxygen. But now we use oxygen's moles, which was 1.354 moles of oxygen, times by the ratio, mole of oxygen on the bottom, gram of oxygen up top. What are the numbers here? Oh, well, one mole of anything is the mass of oxygen on the periodic table. And if we're doing oxygen, it would be the higher number, 16. So 16, 16.00, cancel out the word mole of oxygen, and you're left with the answer. So 1.354 times 16, you get 21.66, because we still need four sig figs, grams of oxygen. Box that answer off. And those are your three answers for the mass. So here we had a total of six answers. So hopefully this helped, guys. If it did, click the like button and tell us, you know, in the comments. And if you, you know, want to help us out, and we really appreciate it, click the subscribe button. It just gets the word out to maybe your classmates or other people on different parts of the earth, um, whoever is taking the OpenStax textbooks, that they can also get help too. And for free. <laughs> So that would be nice. But anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.